Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As you can see, I got the box for the month of May 2018. If you want to see what's inside my box, then keep on watching. Alright, so right off the bat, we're starting off with the card. The theme is called Boxy Bash. We do have a couple coupon codes here and a list of items that are in the box. If you guys want to go ahead and use the codes, feel free. And I'm going to jump right into the items. Alright, so this is how the box comes. I originally thought I only had five items because my last box only had five. But count with me. One, two, three, four, five. And if you look underneath, I actually have a palette. Alright, so first up we have the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I have used Cover FX before. I actually do have their setting powder. So I look forward to using this product but we'll move on to the next. Next from Aesthetica, we have a three-piece brush set. As you can see, I have one liner brush, an angle brush, and a spoolie brush. I've never used Aesthetica before, but I'm excited to try a new brush brand, so stay tuned. Next up, we have a collab by BoxyCharm and Beauty Creations. It's a matte lip gloss. The color name is Sweetheart, and I really look forward to this one as well. I really love the pinky shades. And here we have another brush by Aesthetica. That gives me a total of four brushes. Towards the end of the video, I will be telling you guys the retail value on each and every product. Next up from Pretty Vulgar, we have a gel pot liner. I love Pretty Vulgar because they have such beautiful detailing on their products. So I look forward to using this one. Last but not least, we have the Pure Sculptor Palette. This was this month's sneak peek item. Um, I will be opening up all my products, trying them on, and showing you guys what they look like and how I feel about the products. And now that we've finished unboxing all the items, I'm just going to be trying each and every one of them on my face. I do want to clarify I am not sponsored by BoxyCharm. Anything that you see in this review is all bought out of my own pocket. Uh, anything that I review in this box is my own honest opinion. As you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup on my face. I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the Cover FX primer and I'm just going to do a couple dabs on my face and then continue. <music> face is prime I'm just gonna feel the primer doesn't feel tacky and it doesn't feel as oily as I had initially thought the primer does smell a little herbally but I look forward to using this product I'm gonna jump into the next product in my box next I'm gonna be trying out the beauty creations liquid lipstick I'm hoping the color is not gonna be too light for me I've had issues with Lipstick just being too light for my skin tone, so I'm just going to swatch this on my lips. And 
here we have the color swatched on the lips. It is a little transferable. Consistency is a little bit tacky. It is definitely matte. Um, it does smell like a very strong strawberry kind of candy. So if you're not into fruity scents, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it is a beautiful color. The bottle does look a little bit lighter than the color actually does come out. So I will be using this product. All right, next up, I'm going to be swatching the Pure Cosmetics Contour Palette. Opening it up, guys, oh my god, it smells like vanilla cookies. If it wasn't makeup, I would be shoving my face in this right now. So here are the colors swatched on my wrist. Uh, the first color is Originator, the top left color. Um, the second color is Inventor. The third color is Trailblazer. And the last color on my wrist is Founder. Uh, these are very buttery consistencies. The last one I had a little trouble swatching. But they are beautiful and they smell amazing. I'm not going to be using any product on the brush, but I just want to see how it feels. Oh wow, these brushes are definitely soft. Um, the quality of it feels very nice. And I look forward to using these on future looks. Alright, next I'm going to be swatching the Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner. I'm just going to be using the brush from Aesthetica to swatch it on my hand. So here we have the liner swatched using the Aesthetica brush. Uh, it is very pigmented. The consistency is very smooth. I like how well the brush applies it, so I will be using this in future videos. Alright, and that's it for the items in this month's BoxyCharm box. The total retail value of my box was $174. I only pay $21 for subscription. I will name each and every item and the retail cost. So the Pure Sculptor Palette was $30. The Cover FX Blurring Primer is $38. The Pretty Vulgar Ink Gel Eyeliner is $24. The three-piece Aesthetica brush set is $45. The one Aesthetica brush is $27. And the Beauty Creations Liquid Lip Gloss is $10, retailing $174. So anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell down below. I hope to see you guys in my future videos. And thank you for watching the Bushy Fox.